Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the field oriented control of permanent magnet synchronous motor using space vector pulse width modulation SVPW. Let us get into the simulation part. The same video is available for download from the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. So this is the FOC model that we have here. This is the battery, this is inverter and here we have the motor model, PMSM motor. And for the PMSM motor, we are giving a 5 Newton meter uh, torque as the low torque. And if you open this PMSM motor, you can see the parameters of the uh, PMSM. So here I have taken the, the default values of the motor that we uh, get in the MATLAB simply. <coughs> so if you change this to trapezoidal, <coughs> it becomes BLDC motors. Uh, since this one is PMSM, we are keeping it as uh, sinusoidal. Uh, back in of waveform and here we have the speed reference the speed reference is given in terms of uh, rpm so uh, here we have a uh, initial speed of 500 rpm and later it will be changed to uh, 750 rpm so this happens uh, uh, I mean the 500 rpm will be there for the first one second and for the next second it will be 750 rpm even you can change the speed to 1500 rpm so here we have uh, uh, the reference speed uh, coming from the step input and with the step input we are comparing the actual speed so this actual speed will be in terms of radians per second and that has to be converted to rpm using this block the error will be calculated by comparing the reference speed with the actual speed and the error is given as input to this PID controller. So this PID controller will produce the output which is uh, which happens to be quadrature axis current reference and uh, here we have uh, zero as direct axis current reference. Since this being PMS a motor uh, there won't be any pointing present in the rotor side so the current run by the rotor will be assumed to be zero here. So for that reason, we are considering this as zero. <coughs> so, the, <coughs> so the direct axis current uh, reference is considered to be zero here. And with that, we are comparing the actual uh, direct axis current. So this is direct axis current, actual direct axis current, and this is uh, actual quadrature axis current. So with uh, to compare these two things with a uh, uh, with our reference values, we need to calculate this. So to calculate this, uh, we are going for a conversion. See, from the motor, we will be getting just the three-phase waveforms. We won't be getting uh, currents like direct axis current and quadrature axis current. Rather, we need to go for the conversion from uh, three-phase ABC currents to direct axis and quadrature axis currents. So this is uh, IABC, and this IABC will be converted to alpha and beta reference frames uh, so that conversion is called alpha and class transformation and using clark to park angle transformation we are going for the conversion from alpha beta to direct axis and quadrature axis current so if you give current as input to this uh, transformation blocks the output will be the current and if you give voltages input to these blocks the output would be the voltages since we are giving three phase uh, currents as input for this transformations we are getting direct axis current and quadrature axis currents as outputs so these are connected uh, here and here we are going uh, for a max operation because this uh, uh, block will accept uh, values through a max so we need to uh, superimpose these two th uh, these two uh, reference voltages together so this is this PID controller will be producing uh, direct axis voltage reference and this is quadrature axis voltage reference so this is the outer loop uh, speed control and uh, this is the inner loop uh, current control outer loop and inner loop so using part to Clark angle transform we are going for alpha beta conversion See, if you are going with sine PWM, we need to convert alpha and beta to ABC uh, uh, waveforms. Since here we are going with 
SVPWM, we need to convert direct axis quadrature axis currents to voltages to um, alpha and beta voltages. The third one is zero and we are terminating here using a terminator. And this SVPWM will be producing uh, pulses. So this will be producing pulses. Uh, six different pulses will be produced and those pulses will be given to the next stage okay so here we are getting the pulses these pulses will be uh, given to the inverter so uh, here we have a uh, few measurement points here we are calculating the line to line voltage and here we are calculating the speed torque and then this is the theta so here we are going for uh, uh, electrical angle conversion to I mean uh, mechanical angle conversion to electrical angle conversion so let us run the model the model is getting complete now is the model has started to run okay so the initial speed is uh, 500 rpm and after one second it will uh, get changed to uh, 750 rpm let us see the change okay so as you can see the speed is uh, exactly tracking the reference speed So these are the uh, currents. Okay, the same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel. Please share it among your friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you.